All right. Hello all. Uh, just something uh, to experiment with. Uh, this is uh, Arch Linux running uh, basic Zorg server as a GUI, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, just to experiment and to have fun um, as usual. Now, uh, the only thing is, is when you log out, this won't save because uh, I, you know, I haven't save any session manager per se but uh, it is neat uh, if you just click on uh, the desktop here uh, you can get the uh, icon manager and he floats up here and you can move these guys and click this here I don't have a zoom facility installed in this case but you can move windows around you can resize them like up and down like so and put them in the icon you can make the icons an icon <laughs> and you can uh, move things around bring your clock a little larger into focus you get the idea of course very simple stuff uh, various things you can uh, launch something like nitrogen and whenever a window opens it'll just you know where to place it you can pick from any one of these I don't know this click apply and ta-da we have a background and uh, a not so ugly desktop. So you can also launch uh, all your GUI or whatever applications. Uh, for example, the XFCE terminal I have. And you can launch uh, Sunar. And there it is. Uh, you can make him an icon. Interesting enough, I uh, installed Compton. So you can do like Compton uh, dash B and and. And this goes, this is interesting. There we go. Now we have some shadowing going on. And whenever I highlight another window, this will turn transparent. Okay, there we go. As you can see, when you go between the two. So it makes it a background transparency, basically. All right, so now we're rolling. Uh, we have the, our terminal, XFCE4 terminal. We have uh, our file manager. We have our clock. We have a conky script. We have a text editor. And you can make this full screen, although it goes really laggy, so I'll just press spacebar and make that full screen. And we have a nice desktop screensaver. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's very interesting, that's for sure. Okay, so uh, while I'm in this mode or mood, whatever, uh, I had a question about Bash RC. And uh, the person uh, expressed that they're a little um, cautious about uh, using a bash rc file or modifying it uh it's not it's not going to mess anything up too bad if you back it up probably the best thing so um what i'm going to do obviously is i'm going to back it up or just copy it to a, another name it's, it's always going to be there so just uh, cp dot bash rc to dot bash rc dot back And I'm going to remove the dot bash RC. Uh, but first, before that, is uh, so far um, in the SKEL or the skeleton directory in Arch Linux, it's there. So if you do an ls and then list all to show the dot files, uh, Etsy SKEL, you see there is a, a skeleton bash RC. So you can sort of, uh, well, I'll just use leafpad. So leafpad dot bash rc and you see here this is the just the default or just a simple bash rc file to get you running and then you can add to it so i'll just quit that for now so i'm going to remove my bash rc because i just backed it up and i'm going to source and this is uh, without having to log out maybe you have to exit the terminal for it to kick in completely but you source um the bash rc so um sorry my mistake first of all i'm going to copy the skeleton one and then source the the uh, skeleton one so dot bash rc to our and make it a tilde dot bash just to make sure it's in your home folder and then now we'll source uh tilde slash dot bash RC and commands such as pack you may or may not work 
Okay, so it says command not found because I just deleted my bash rc file. To take a look at uh, what I have, okay, and this is what I use. Uh, the postscript is, don't I, I'm not really sure how it works. I just uh, copy and paste into the document and just so, uh, source it again. And if it looks okay, I, I just keep it. Uh, I haven't commented out because when I'm in uh, any of these uh, uh, Zorg terminals, it's hard to see. But I can now uncomment that. Okay, so uh, moving on, it says uh, Pac-Man aliases, if desired, adapt your favorite AUR helper. I usually don't do that anymore. Uh, just It just didn't seem to work as well as it used to. So uh, in any case, uh, you just take this whole section here and you would copy and paste it into your skeleton bash RC. If you wish to use the environmental uh, variables I have here, you can copy and paste those in. You can copy and paste the postscript if you wish. But the main thing was the bash aliases. And uh, other stuff I just label as custom to save time. LED equals leaf pad dot bash RC uh, BSU um, bash shell update, I guess, source the bash RC and other stuff. Uh, P sync. You can have anything as an alias, right? And you just put it equals and then in single quotes. Very, very, uh, very simple. So control Q uh, to quit that. So we'll just uh, remove the old, the bash RC we just had. And then move our dot bash RC dot back to dot to, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, just bash RC. There we go. Now you see the colors back in the terminal and uh, uh, pack U. That should cover this video. Um, just try something different all the time, and uh, what what uh, you know whatever you wish to do with your uh, Linux or Arch Linux installation. I find the Arch Linux so um, flexible, right? I can do this without any too much hassle, basically, and I'm not locked into anything. I can do you know do pretty much anything I want. So. That, that should do it for this video, and any questions or comments, feel free to add, and uh, just take a look if you want at the Bash RC file in the link I'll, I'll post, and just copy and paste it into your, your document, dot Bash RC file. All right, so thanks so much for watching, and everybody have a great evening, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.